Burndy's new line of insulating piercing connectors cover a wider conductor range and now include a shear bolt for quick and easy installation. The wire range has been expanded to accommodate a run from number 8 AWG to 750 KC mil and a tap from number 14 AWG to 500 KC mil. A simple wrench or impact driver with appropriately sized socket is all that is required to install these tapping and splicing connectors. Each connector is range taking. They are CULUS listed and are AL9CU rated for use with copper and aluminum conductor. Because they utilize insulation piercing technology, stripping insulation from conductor is not required and tapping applications can be completed without cutting the run conductor. Each BIPC connector is supplied with two end caps. The end caps can be placed on the tap or run on either side of the connector to allow for splicing and dead end applications or can be removed for tapping applications. All end caps contain an internal rubber seal that produces a watertight seal. The end of the conductor should be inserted fully into the rubber seal during splicing and dead end applications should be inserted fully into the rubber seal during installation. The open side of the connector is for the run conductor in tapping applications, while the side containing the product information is for the tap conductor. The top of the connector contains a shear bolt for easy installation. The uppermost hex is used to tighten the connector during installation. The wrench or socket size required for installation is inscribed in the base of the bolt. The large hex beneath the tightening hex can be used to remove the connector from the conductor if needed. There is a red turbo spacer located on the inside of the tap side. This spacer is used to hold the connector open to assist with the installation of the tap or splicing conductor. The spacer will snap off during installation to allow the insulating teeth to pierce through the tap or splice conductor insulation. Begin by removing or relocating the end caps to their desired location. Place the connector over the run conductor and hand tighten the installation bolt. Measure the tap conductor so that it will be fully inserted into the end cap seal. Insert the end of the connector into the tap side opening until it is fully seated. Using a wrench or impact driver and socket, tighten the bolt until it shears off. If needed, the connector can be removed from the conductor by reversing the bolt using the remaining hex. For more information, visit burndy.com. Thank you.